Okay, hello and welcome. And this is a little discussion about how to use the Punit Square. And many of you probably have uh, used these in your biology class, you may remember from high school. And uh, we are using it today on this um, horse paint genetics presentation. And this is a little animation that will show you how to use your square. You can see the square down in the lower right hand side and on the left we have the genetic markers for the sire and dam and the uh, sire is a homozygous tobiano which is represented by two big t's and the non tobiano is represented by two little t's so to uh, use your square you begin by taking the t's from the one, each parent and plugging them into the square. This shows you where they go. Then you use the T's as shown here to put the information into the square. As you could see we took one from each corner there. And these other two will fill in just like that. All right, so what we have here is 100% heterozygous tobianos. Um, if you have uh, taken the course already, or if you have the companion CD-ROM, this will make a lot more sense to you. Uh, so that shows you in our square, this is how we use it. Each square is 25% uh, of what the likelihood of each foal is. Here's another one. Works the same way. Um, we have a heterozygous tobiano, which is big T, little t, and again a non-tobiano. So you take the sire and plug his T's into the upper part, and the dam goes on the lower part and this works the uh, same way. And the T's drop in like that. Little T, little T, and the uh, bottom left square will be a big T, little T, and the bottom right will be two little T's, as you can see here. Now if we look at this one, we've got two heterozygous tobianos and two non-tobianos, so that would be a 50-50 chance in this pairing that you would have a tobiano foal. The non-tobianos, the two small t's, could be overos or they could be solids.